is a horrifying story, the likes of which is going to make your toes curl underneath until breaking point. You're going to go cold, your throat is going to leap into your mouth. Because that's how I feel right now. Now if Fergus brings the camera gently round to this side, what you will notice is that there is some silk sort of strewn about gently. You see that? Gently strewn about silk there underneath the chair. Right, that's very nice. Now, I thought to myself, I wonder who made that silk? And of course that silk has been there now, well, I don't know, about a week. Why have we been sitting here? I thought, let me just quickly check. Between the layers here on my seat, and notice that there is a hole here. Okay, do you see this? There is a hole there. There is the hole. Okay, good, so you've seen that. And I thought, well, let me just split this apart. And uh, let's see what's there. And lo and behold, there is the most enormous brown button spider that I have ever seen. It has been sitting within b uh, half an inch of my nether regions for the last week. And I now know no longer know what to do about this chair. Well, I do know what to do about it. I'm going to throw it away. That is terrifying. It's utterly, utterly horrifying. And I think that is Lactrodectrus geometricus again. In fact, it might be a different species of brown button spider because there are no bubbles or baubles on the top of the egg sac, which he's still making. Now, tell me, everybody, I would like to know in one word tweet how it would make you feel if you had realised that for the last week you had been sitting on top of one of Africa's most venomous spiders not more than half an inch from what can only be described as the most sensitive part of your body. Well, I am quite sure that, like me, you would feel perplexed in the extreme. Especially when you noticed that there was a slit that it could easily have climbed up through to get at you. That is a magnificent shot. Well done, Fergus. I, did, I think it is Electrodectrus geometricus, given the hourglass there. Uh, but it is the biggest one I've ever seen. Oh, look at that thing. Filled with nasty venom. Right, well, I mean, what an appropriate tweet from a chap, or what an appropriate Twitter handle from the first one word tweet. The tweet is Lucky, and it comes from somebody called The Evil Underwear Gnome. Well, yes, The Evil Underwear Gnome, I'd say Lucky is a very, very apt description of how I feel right now. Although horrified comes to mind, terrified. Yes, and George, you may have the um, sort of hyphenated word there, bone-chilling. Very bone-chilling indeed. Hmm. Anyway, and uh, you know, I mean, this would be extreme TV, wouldn't it? be like Fear Factor. Maybe I should carry on sitting in this thing for Saturday and Sunday, see if I can survive unscathed. I'm obviously not going to do that because that would be stupid. Should put another set of undies on. Yeah, no. Fergus, your, your wasp is back. Excellent. Sorry, I've just dropped this. You keep looking there. I'll see if I can spot your wasp that was carrying a caterpillar. <laughs> Fergus, that is a very brave shot that you are attempting there. You can't really see your hands, can you? <laughs> Isn't that an abuse? I mean, it is a beautiful spider, it really is. A beautifully backlit shot. Do you want some more light on it? No, uh, we're alright. All right. Okay, no. okay, well, from what I think is the most terrifying incident I've ever had in the wilderness out here, I'm going to have to lie down for a while. We're going to head across to the Mara with Brent Leo Smith and, uh, well, probably the most terrifying predator they have there.